or not. And so Henry, basically, on Christmas Day of 1863, he heard bells ringing. And he was inspired to write a poem, a basically a message that peace would come again. He wrote the poem Christmas Bells, but we sang the poem today, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day. It was a testament to his resilience. And he said, hey, this is a bad thing, but we got to keep going. I have to keep going. And, you know, we sang it. We're not going to sing it again. But you can, you can just, after the circumstances, you can understand when he wrote, we know it as verse 3. And in despair I bowed my head. There is no peace on earth, I said. For hate is strong and mocks the song of peace on earth, goodwill to men. Can we say something like that today? Can we hang our heads in despair today? What's going on? Man, is, there is no peace. Man, it just seems like there's hatred and things going on all the time now. Oh, you hear this and you hear that. But then... What we know is verse 4. Then peal the bells more loud and deep. God is not dead. He does not sleep. The wrong shall fail and the right shall prevail. With peace on earth. Goodwill to man. Now Charlie, his son, never did return to the fight. And he was honorably discharged in 1864. And this is Henry Wadsworth Longfellow is the person who wrote this. And then basically the poem was published in a magazine and it was set to music in 1872. Wrote it in 1863, set to music in 1872. But the thing is, as we celebrate and remember, and guess what I didn't do? <laughs> we thought you waited for that moment. All right, here's the moment. <laughs> we're lighting the candle of hope. And we're going to light the one for peace. I was going to say something soon. <laughs> yeah, he's been here five years, man. I lost hope. Please don't. Some days to serve Jesus, do y'all grit your teeth? 
course, your dentist tells you not to do that. But there's some days you just have to grit your teeth, don't you? You just have to be determined. I'm going to see this through. Because as we serve Jesus Christ, we've chosen a side, and the other side is the enemy, Satan, and he's going to come against you. Anywhere, anytime. Uh, you all heard of the rules of, uh, the, the what is it, the rules of conflict? Is that it? Rules of engagement, thank you. Rules of engagement, there are none with Satan. With men, there are supposedly rules of engagement. With Satan, there are none. Everything, he's coming after you. But we just need to stand and resolve to serve Jesus Christ. Now, let me ask you this. Have you accepted, let's bow our heads. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? <coughs> We've talked about that. That you say, I'm a sinner. I cannot save myself. Jesus, I thank you that you died for me. You paid the penalty for my sin on the cross. And I want right now to receive you as my Lord and my Savior. Because I cannot save myself. You've done it all for me. It's just like when somebody gives you a present at Christmas or any other time. They hand you the present. That's what Jesus did. It's all done. It's, it's being offered to you. And you just say, Jesus, I accept that gift of eternal life, of salvation that you've given to me. And I ask you to forgive me, to save me, and help me to live for you every day. Until that point in time where either I will, my life will finish here and I will die, and be with you, or like we already talked about, that He will come again one day in the air to receive those who are true believers. So I'm going to give you an opportunity. We're going to have one verse of an invitation. I'm going to be standing right down front. If you'd like to come and talk to me about any, that situation or anything, please come and uh, give you this opportunity as uh, Karen plays in me. Plays for us.